The Shiba Inu community has always been eager to put in the work to burn as many tokens as possible, with the end goal being to drastically reduce the circulating supply of SHIB. Well, it looks like all that effort is about to pay off big time if what Shaitoshi just said is anything to go by. Want to find out what he said and how it affects the Shiba Inu ecosystem? Make sure to keep watching this video. Disclaimer. Welcome back to the channel, Sheep Army, and welcome to the channel if you're here for the first time. If you're looking for a channel that'll supply you with regular Sheep updates and general crypto updates as well, you've come to the right place. Just make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss another video from this channel. Now, let's get into today's video. Before we get to the main news, a mysterious Sheep wallet just burned 40 million Sheep tokens. It was discovered that this mysterious wallet belongs to none other than Sheeb Superstore's Travis Johnson. Johnson has proven to be one of the most dedicated Shiba Inu supporters to Sheeb Burns, and this is thanks to his idea of using profit gotten from some Amazon services to burn tokens. He started this burn a couple of months ago, and every month, the amount of Sheeb tokens that he manages to send to the burn wallet just continues to increase. Right now, he's still the only one that makes use of this medium to burn Sheeb but nothing says that he alone can use that medium. So, if you're looking for a way to burn sheep that doesn't require you to part with tokens from your own portfolio, consider this Amazon idea. Now to the main news for today. A certain sheep fan asked Shaitoshi whether Shibarium will burn 100 trillion tokens per year. If this happens, Shiba Inu would completely have burned off every single token currently in supply in just 5 or 6 years and considering that the plan is to not remove every sheep token out of existence, we're looking at about 4 years to make sheep very profitable. So that fan is definitely asking an important question. Anyway, this fan got to ask this question during the Q&A session that Shaitoshi held on the Shiba Inu Discord server. He was there to talk about the soon to be launched Shibarium, hence the fan's question. According to the fan, they heard some YouTube influencers mention that Shibarium would be burning trillions of sheep each year. So, the fan wanted Shaitoshi to either confirm or refute that publicly. Shaitoshi's reply was not exactly a straightforward one. Here's what he said. You're going to have to do the math here. Look at the volume of other L2s. A small percent burned and multiply. Low on my priority list. Higher is actually completing it and finding multiple use cases. So basically what he's saying is that other L2s do not burn all of their tokens at once. It happens in bits. So, we can't expect Shibarium to burn all of Sheep in such a short time. This doesn't mean that Shibarium won't burn lots of Sheep though. He did mention that his priority right now is not the volume of Sheep that Shibarium will be able to burn, but for the platform to be completed in the first place and then to find multiple use cases for it. And according to Watcher Guru, in other words, Shaitoshi hinted that Shibarium could find multiple use cases that could sustainably scale Sheep in price rather than in just burning tokens. Therefore, the more use cases Shibarium gets, the better the chances Sheep could hit good prospects in the indices. All of that said, Shaitoshi has not given any date for the launch of Shibarium just yet. The only idea for a launch date that we have is XFund's mention of the beta testnet being released in Q3 or shortly after launch. We also know that the beta testnet that'll be launched soon will be developer delegator sector focused, and the idea is to make sure that when Shibarium is actually launched, it is able to support the Sheep community. Of course, this launch would also be an opportunity for XFund to fix any bugs that the community might notice or pick up on. That said, with this supposed delay in the launch of Shibarium, it is important to bear in mind that the dev team never actually announced a launch date. All the dates that we've gotten were announced by XFund, the company responsible for developing Shibarium. And the reason the Shiba Inu dev team hasn't announced any launch date is because they don't want to repeat a mistake that they've made earlier in the year. This is the exact sentiment that Shaitoshi was echoing when he mentioned this on the Shiba Inu Discord server. Actually, we haven't said a thing, but our friends said it, public beta was coming Q3 or very close thereafter, and I think that's fair. But we don't give dates, because hashtag late April. So while we do appreciate XFun and the effort that they're putting in, it might be best to wait for an announcement from the Shiba Inu dev team when it comes to launch dates. Meanwhile, as she prepares to rally, veteran trader Peter Brandt says he's not afraid of missing out on Sheeb's rally. Well, it was more of an indirect thing. An eager Sheeb enthusiast told Brandt not to miss out on Shiba Inu's massive bull run and magical breakout unless he, Brandt, would regret it. 
Now, while Brand's reply might seem disappointing to some, there's actually a lesson that we can learn from it. Here's what he wrote. I never worry about missing a breakout. People who worry about missing breakouts usually tap out because they fall into the bad habit of FOMO and FOMO kills. And he has a point. I always make it a point of duty to remind viewers of this channel to do their own research. You should not just jump on an investment opportunity or make a financial decision because that's what someone else or many people are doing. You should do it because you've done your own research and have determined that buying, hodling, or selling off your holdings is the best decision for you. That's basically what Brandt is saying. By the way, after you've done your research, whatever transaction you decide to make, consider doing it on Fairdesk. The exchange platform offers an interesting variety of cryptocurrencies for you to choose from, and it also offers some freebies on your first transaction, which is always a good idea. In other news, Shiba Inu and John Richman are rocking the Shanghai Fashion Week. But before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 SHIB. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck! This feature at the Shanghai Fashion Week is happening after the Shiba Inu x John Richmond collection made an appearance at Milan Fashion Week, and Richmond hosted a celebration party soon after. At the celebration party, a sneak peek into Shib, the metaverse was presented, and the clip featured a few designs, with the centerpiece being the Shiba Inu logo. This is obviously just the beginning for this partnership, and I can't wait for those pieces to be worn even outside the runway. Now to the general crypto market. It looks like things might be looking up for Bitcoin as it started this month trading in the green. Bitcoin was able to push past $19,500. And interestingly, the traditional finance markets saw gains in the same time period. Anyway, with BTC's recent gains, experts seem to believe that the coin is gearing up for a bullish run. But if this will happen, Bitcoin will have to continue pushing till it breaks past $20,000 in order to form a new support. And some experts seem to believe that if Bitcoin can achieve this, it can end up pumping as high as $24,000. Speaking of BTC price pumps, one thing that might help is crashing the stock market. Some of the biggest companies in the world are about to report their Q2 earnings this month, so investors are wary of the possibility of an even more severe global economic meltdown which could lead to uncertainty. Now, the crypto market usually thrives in a time of uncertainty in the stock market, and this is because, so far, crypto is a lot more unregulated by the government than the stock market. So, if the stock market is being clamped down on, investors would want to opt in for the less regulated option. Please don't forget to share your opinions in the comment section below. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.